Hello, my name is Winnie Sullivan, and today as we celebrate Black Catholic History Month, and as part of our devotion during this novena, I'd like to recall and honor the life of Dr. Thomas Wyatt Turner. Thomas Wyatt Turner was born in Charles County, Maryland in 1877 into a Catholic family of sharecroppers. He completed his secondary education in Episcopal schools, having been refused admission to Catholic schools because of his race. But he went on to study at Catholic University and Howard University, earning a doctorate in botany from Cornell University, and eventually teaching at Howard and chairing the biology department at Hampton Institute. During a period of service to public schools, Turner actually taught here in St. Louis from 1910 to 1911. He recalled having been asked during a later visit to St. Louis to move to the back of a church where he was attending mass. In 1916, during World War I, Turner helped form the Committee for Advancement of Colored Catholics to tend to the needs of black Catholics in military service. After the war, as the nation endured another period of intense racial conflict, Turner's organization, now called the Committee Against the Extension of Race Prejudice in the Church, enlarged its scope to include, quote, the collection of data concerning colored Catholics, the protection of their interests, promotion of their welfare, and the propagation of the faith among colored people, end quote. In 1924, the organization evolved to become the Federated Colored Catholics, the FCC, describing itself as a voice of the Catholic Negro in America. Turner sought to place the gifts of black Catholics in service to the church to address the problems of inequality. For the next three decades until the demise of the FCC, due to disagreements regarding its leadership and purpose, Turner continued to press for a black Catholic clergy, for schools at which black Catholic children could be educated, and for admission of black students to Catholic colleges and universities. Though we don't often think of him as a contemporary, Turner lived a long life, dying in 1978 at the age of 101. His was an early voice in the wilderness, elevating the plight of African Americans in our church and in the broader society, and by extension, advocating for an expanded role for Catholic laity. As we reflect on his life, let us remember that Thomas Wyatt Turner was a person who succeeded in the face of tremendous odds. His life is an example of leadership, determination, generosity, and concern for others, demonstrating what one courageous person can achieve. Turner remained a faithful Catholic throughout his life, despite the discrimination he faced within the church. His response to that discrimination was to speak up and speak out, to use his gifts to forge a path to opportunity for others. A founder of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and a proponent of voting rights, a particularly timely issue for us. Turner's efforts to seek racial justice were strongly rooted in his faith and in the belief that we, as people of faith, can do better. As we look about today and see the state of our nation's unrest and the quest for racial reckoning, let us look to Turner's life for ways to bring our Catholic faith to bear in the search for just solutions. Loving God, who fashioned each of us in your image and likeness. Grant us the grace and the tenacity to continue the struggle for racial justice, using the light of Thomas Wyatt Turner's life as our beacon. 
Help us to realize that racism is a sin that injures those who practice it, as well as its intended victims, preventing us from fully living the gospel and from being all that you've created us to be. Help us to seek the healing and understanding that will allow us to recognize one another as members of one mystical body and will advance the coming of your kingdom. We ask these and all things through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.